Hey, what's up guys, Saints fan here, and welcome back to another video on GTA, and today we're doing the Saber Turbo, that guy just ran me over with. So yeah, the Saber Turbo came out, I'll show you guys the price here on the internet, it's at Benny's Workshop. Now, unfortunately, I've been hearing a few things that kind of makes this upsetting, but it only is $15,000 to purchase regularly, so I mean, I guess it's not too bad, but it is like 450-ish thousand to upgrade and you lose that stripe in the middle so we're gonna see if this is actually worth it side note while i'm waiting for that to be delivered they took away my money look at my money i only have four million dollars i know that's still a lot to a lot of people so i'm complaining like and, and nobody really cares <laughs> but i had like 25 million dollars and then i come in gtl on after the week of me being banned and they took all my money I will say this livery that this guy has on is pretty freaking cool. All right, so the upgrade price is actually 490,000, so a little bit more expensive than what I thought. Before we do that though, I'm gonna go ahead and change the suspension, just cause I don't know if we can do this after the fact, and sometimes that'll make your car go faster, cause apparently this is the new fastest muscle car in the game. Uh, and I'll be doing some tests later on today, but let's go ahead and upgrade it for that $490,000 price tag and see if it's worth it. So like I said, you do lose the stripe. Unfortunately, I don't think the suspension actually did anything there, but going through everything. So armor brakes don't need anything. Front bumpers, that's what we got here. We got some uh, some different options. And then rear bumpers, we just have one. You get the painted, all right? Chassis, we have roll cage. We have the regular roll cage and then the stunt roll cage, which I don't know. If, okay, it literally just changes the color, I think. Now get into the engine. This one has a few different options uh, compared to some of the other cars, as you can see here. And this, it definitely makes your engine look a lot nicer. Air filters, pretty much the same as all the other ones. For the exhaust here, we have the chrome tip exhaust. Then we got this one, the big bore, and then the side grill. You can either make it dechromed or painted. Hood, there's a few different options here, which look really nice. Although that one, look at that engine texture. That looks so bad. I just noticed that. Is that like it on every other car? The interior trim designs change uh, the stuff like it does on every other car. And you have a lot of different options here, as you can see just from the back. There is a spoiler you can put on here, the low level spoiler. The trunk does have the option to have the speakers in them, as well as the hydraulics, as you can see. And I think that is it. Let's get into the respray now, and I'll show you guys deliveries in a second. So respray, you can see matte, that this primary color is pretty much everything else. And I think the secondary color is the inside if, or what, what is this actually? The change, I think it, ch it changes something on the bottom there. Okay. That's, I don't know why the secondary color is down there, but it is trim actually changes the inside. Now get it into the liveries though. So we have the blue outline, pretty simple, the yellow pinstripe, another pretty simple one. Although it doesn't, this one. Out of all like the pinstripe ones, I think this one's the better looking one or the the best looking one just because it has a lot of pinstripes. Royal Stripes is next. Inferno, the flames, looks pretty cool. Uh, Suicide Green, which is the one we saw in that other guy's car at the beginning. Then we have the Swirl Pinstripe, Royal Red, which honestly, I am not a fan of this one. But uh, this one is the one they, they Rockstar constantly keep showing. Then there's Preposterous Purple, which I don't really like either. And then Ballistic Blue. I don't like these last two just because they like cover up too much of the car. So is this worth the $500,000 price tag that you have to pay for it? I don't know. It's a tough question. Um, It's definitely out of all the cars or the last couple of cars we've gotten in Benny's. This car itself is one of the better ones. Although the customization options are kind of lacking, which is kind of unfortunate considering you do have to pay that pretty steep price i guess if you do like this car you're gonna have to decide if you want it to be upgraded fully uh so it can compete uh, as the best class or the best car in the muscle class category or if you like all the designs and stuff beforehand but that is it with the customization hopefully you guys enjoy drop a like more videos coming out later today see you guys then as always it's your boy saints fan i'm out peace